Hello my lovelies and welcome back to my channel. I am so happy to be back behind this camera after four months. I can't express to you guys how weird it feels to actually be filming again, but I am so happy that I am. Um, I was so excited to film this video and I was like, you know what, I think it's necessarily that I film this video because I get so many questions. So, recently I've been getting so many comments on my hair video, the last one that I did which you guys can scroll down my videos and you guys will actually get to see it where I spoke as to how I got my violet magenta, magenta reddish looking hair. I constantly get people asking me, have I bleached my hair? What did I do differently? Am I still doing the same thing? So I want to answer those questions for you guys. Okay, in the last four months of my absence, I have tried another company. Recently, this company released these hair dyes and I was like you know what I want to try something new because I want to have something to review for you guys and today one of the products that we're going to talk about is going to be Lime Crime I know I know Lime Crime has had some very negative feedback from a lot of people a lot of things came out from Lime Crime things that weren't so very that weren't very positive how about that Lime Crime had a couple skeletons hiding in their in their closet but regardless, they came out with something new and I wanted to give them the benefit of the doubt and try it out for myself. I do have Lime Prime products. I believe I only had one lipstick or so or two lipsticks and nah, but that's for another video. But for this one, I want to talk to you guys about the Lime Prime Unicorn Hair. In the past month, I was trying to look for something that was, again, different than my usual Pravana and something that would give me more for my buck because throughout the months that I've been gone my hair has grown significantly it's probably at least an 18 to a 20 inch now and with it being that length I need more hair dye so when I was on Instagram one day I noticed that Lime Crime posted that after three years in the making their CEO has developed the perfect like the unicorn hair dye you know I'm going to read to you what this hair dye claims that it does. So it's not coming from me. You guys can actually log on to LimeCrime.com and read it yourself. So it says, Three years in the making, unicorn hair fantasy hair color is finally here. Developed by our purple hair CEO, Dodre, this semi-permanent hair dye is designed to last longer and fade gracefully. Unicorn hair is a vegetable dye formulated with only the purest vegan ingredients that are gentle on the hair come in full coverage and tint formulas. Okay, it's supposed to leave your hair feeling smooth, silky, and smelling like meadows. Um, it says that the color lasts longer and fades gradually and gracefully. It won't damage your hair and, you know, blah, 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 whatever. You guys can go on their website and read it for yourself. Again, I don't claim anything nor do I have any right to lime crime or anything that they do post. So, you know, I went ahead and I ordered it. I ordered it through Urban Outfitters because it was kind of sketchy for me to order from Lime Crime because of, you know, whatnot. And they sent me one of the correct products and they sent me another one that I did not order. I actually ordered Strawberry Jam and they sent me Pony, which is a really vibrant purple and this is like a really true fire engine red. As you guys can see, I actually used some of this. Okay. When I first did it, my hair was probably faded out to, I want to say, like a goldish, reddish auburn. So I was like, oh, perfect, you know, my hair dye is going to take and it'll be fine. For the first three days, it was super bright. It was really pretty. And then after that, it was downhill. Again, I repeat, I have never bleached my hair to get to the dye, to get to the dye, to get to the color that I have now. So maybe that could have been a huge reason as to why this hair color didn't last as long as it claims to last. Um, I noticed that it was it was in some parts of my hair was very patchy. Some parts took brighter than others. It stuck more to my bathtub. I honestly, honestly, me, do not recommend this hair dye. I thought I would love it and at first I was like yes I'm gonna love it I'm gonna recommend it to all my subscribers I'm gonna talk about it but I'm not I do not recommend this hair dye unless your hair is a bleached blonde or you have bleached your hair then go ahead and try it out and maybe you guys will have different results again just because it didn't work for me does not mean that it's not gonna work for you and maybe you might love it and I personally did not love it so I do not recommend this so 
weedy. That is about all I have to say about that hair dye. Um, I was not a fan. Did not make my color last. It didn't fade gracefully. It was just, it was a mess. Okay. So, now to talk about where my hair color is now. As you guys can see, it's more red than my last video. My last video was more violet, more, more magenta tone. In my last video, I believe the only two colors I talked about, and I'm not sure, don't take my word for it because I haven't watched that video nor have I like um, taken notes on it, was the Wild Orchid and the Magenta. Now, this is what the tube, if you guys have never purchased Pravana, this is what the tube is going to look like. I mixed one full tube of Wild Orchid and one full tube of Magenta. And that was what gave me the very pretty, vibrant tone. I sometimes honestly go ahead and leave this color in for like about an hour, two hours, depending on what you're doing. Since this is a semi-permanent, it is not really going to, there's nothing that in this tube that will really break your hair, unlike the permanent hair color, because there's no bleach, there's no peroxide, there's nothing. Now, what I did differently this time around, I have mixed the red, the wild orchid, magenta, these three tubes full, full three tubes, and half of a blue pervana. The color blue. I don't have that tube to show you because I actually tossed that box and I wish I wouldn't have. But a neon blue Pervana. I mix, again, red, wild orchid, magenta, and a half tube of blue. And it gave me this. I have told you guys before, I like showing you guys like my natural hair so you guys can actually see what it actually looks like. Um, when it's not done, this is how bright it is. This is, this is what you're going to get. There's a couple things that I want to answer um, as far as like some comments that I have had. Okay, I have constantly had comments of people asking me, will my hair take if it is not bleached but it is extremely light as like a light brown? If your hair is a light brown, it is more prone to taking than as if your hair was a dark brown. You don't necessarily have to bleach your hair in order for you to use these colors. But keep in mind that if your hair is dark, it is not going to lift. As you guys can see, the proof is right here. My roots are extremely dark. My roots is like, it's my natural hair color. It's like a very, very dark brown. And whenever I apply this, I can go ahead and throw it on my roots and it will not lift it. I repeat, it will not lift new growth or dark hair. If your hair is a honey blonde, a uh, platinum blonde, a light brown, it'll take. It'll most likely take. It'll just be a little bit darker. It won't. If you're a honey blonde or a platinum blonde, it is gonna be bright. The lighter the hair, the brighter the color that you that you're gonna end up with. Now let's say there's a lot of comments that I had people saying that they've had, you know, they've dyed their hair and over the past three, four years, it has faded out extremely. Do they have to bleach it? depending on how light it is again if it is a light brown it will lift it but it will not be as bright and it will not take to your new growth your virgin hair the roots whatnot it doesn't matter how many times you've added unless you're a blonde majority of the time it will lift it but if you are not a natural blonde or if your hair isn't dyed blonde it won't take um if you dye your hair a honey blonde and then you throw on this sometimes it'll take and sometimes it won't depending on the formulation of the other color that you just used so what you can do is dye your hair honey blonde let it fade out let it do its thing like for over a month and then you can throw on a semi-permanent but if you like let's say if you have dark brown hair and you're asking is this going to take your possibilities of it taking on a scale from one through ten is possibly a five or a four what I would suggest that you do if you do not want to bleach your hair, if you have dark brown hair or a medium brown, go to your nearest Sally's or your nearest beauty supply and purchase the L'Oreal High Color in the color red or magenta. Red is a lot brighter, magenta is a lot more violet pink. Purchase those with a 30 developer, I will always suggest to you a 30. If you have thin hair, extremely thin, thin hair, you might want to do a 20. 20 is like your safe zone. Um, you don't really like, I mean, there's still going to be damage to your hair, but not to the point as like the 30 is going to cause it. Do a 30 
or for those of you that are wild and y'all just don't care what damage it causes go for a 40. For your developer is going to lift your hair but make sure that you guys always start at the ends of your hair from the from the end of your hair to the root because your roots will always take immediately so you guys make, want to make sure that it's all even um and make sure that you ask your beauty supplier or the sales associate whether you go to sally's or wherever it is that you go and you purchase it ask them for a protein pack afterwards or a really good conditioning treatment because i'm telling you you will feel a little bit of dryness and a little bit of brittleness to your hair but again it is completely normal for hair dye to do that after that you guys can go ahead and let it fade out if it's not as bright as you guys want it let it fade give it like about a week two weeks for your pores to close and then go in again with the l'oreal high color magenta in red or um, in red. the l'oreal high color in magenta or red whichever one it was that you guys chose and then two days later you guys can probably go ahead and try throwing this on because again this is just a deposit it'll just deposit the color it'll help you brighten the hair color but it's not a permanent hair color so even if you guys put developer in this if anything it'll just make the color a pastel color honestly um now i know that this hair dye in particular isn't sold out here so you guys probably um like if you're in the av area or in the pomdo area I believe the only store that sells it is Cosmoprof and I know that you have to be licensed in order to purchase it from them. So if you know anybody or you personally have a license, Cosmoprof and the AV, you can find it. Um, besides that, I don't think I have anything else to say or to touch bases on with you guys. I, as always, just say, just because it worked for me doesn't mean that it's going to work for you. Just because it didn't work for me doesn't mean it won't work for you. Because this didn't work doesn't mean that it won't work for you. This worked for me doesn't necessarily mean that it will work for you. I do not claim anything. Again, I am not a professional. This is just what I have learned on my own after many trials and errors. That this is, Pervana is by far the best semi-permanent hair color that I have yet to find. At least in the colors that I am doing, it always leaves my hair extremely like conditioned and soft. So I will forever, as long as I'm dyeing my hair red, be a fan of Pervana. And this is not an affiliated video. Pervana has not paid me to speak about them. This is just my personal opinion. Um, again, I am welcome. I'm welcome all of you to ask me questions if you guys have any comments, concerns as to where the hair dye where I bought the hair dye or what do I recommend that you do, you guys can go ahead and ask me. It doesn't matter even if I've repeated it. Um, I love hearing from you guys. So yeah, I really, really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's probably um, all over the place because I am a little nervous. Again, so I'm kind of trying to figure it out all over. But I love you guys and thank you guys so, so much for watching. And again, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video.